This brief video will discuss hyposalinity, also known as osmotic shock therapy. Hyposalinity only eliminates two marine pathogens, marinic and flukes. Hypo may suppress symptoms of marine velvet disease, Brooklynella, and uranema for a while, but these parasites usually return as salinity is being raised back up. So it is very important to be sure your fish have either ick or flukes before considering hypo treatment. For ick, treatment lasts 30 days at 1.009 SG. For flukes, 10 days is usually sufficient, but certain strains may take up to 35 days to fully eliminate. So it may be a good idea to run any new fish through hypo for 35 days if you are using it for prophylactic treatment. Hyposalinity is best executed in a quarantine tank. You would place any fish you wish to treat in a quarantine tank with the SG and temperature matching the tank that they are coming from. Over a period of 48 hours, gradually lower the SG down to 1.009. You must use a perfectly calibrated refractor meter or some other accurate salinity tester at all times while doing hypo, and an auto top-off system is also highly recommended. During treatment, the SG must always remain at 1.009. If it inches up even slightly, the treatment clock restarts. Hypo is an attractive treatment option for those with a fish-only system, but more problematic in a reef since corals and inverts will not tolerate it. So, for a reef, you will need to remove all corals and inverts to a fishless frag tank for 45 days. This aquarium should be housed at least 10 feet away from your display tank to avoid any possibility of aerosol transmission. Remember, hypo can have a negative impact on any aquarium's biofilter and biodiversity, so you will need to monitor ammonia very closely and have a reducer on hand to quickly mitigate any sudden ammonia spikes. There are some special considerations when using hypo. Number one. One of the challenges posed by hypo is maintaining a proper pH for the entire duration. While fish aren't overly sensitive to low pH for short periods of time, anything continuously lower than 7.5 is going to be a problem. So you will have to constantly test and raise the pH as needed. This can be accomplished by using supplements available at most local fish shops, or you can bake your own DIY supplement by using baking soda. Spread baking soda onto a clean baking sheet and bake it 300 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. This process drives off carbon dioxide and water from the baking soda, and the result is an effective pH booster. You will need to experiment. Start with a very small amount to determine how much is needed to raise your pH to the desired level. Number two. Hypo is most effective when water temperature is kept between the range of 26 to 28 Celsius or 78 to 82 Fahrenheit. Number three, possible hyposensitive fish include anglers, antheas, dragonets, frogfish, gobies, lionfish, seahorses, and wrasses. Number four, Hypo-resistant strains of marine ick have been proven to exist. The study was done by Yamba in 2003. And number five, raise the salinity back up very slowly, 0.002 SG per day, once the hyposalinity treatment is complete. Thank you for watching this presentation, and hit the subscribe button for more informational videos.